this uh, time of Advent, which means promise coming. Joseph, would you give me a light? It's always a special time in this Advent season when we light the Advent candles. And in fact, each Sunday in Advent, we are concentrating on the theme. Last week, we lit the candle of hope. Hope is a line down from heaven. It is God reaching into our lives. And all we have to do is grab hope and everything changes. Today is our candle of peace. We don't want to blow out the candle of hope. <laughs> Amen. Keep hope alive. Sometimes we can be our own worst enemy. <laughs> Help us, Jesus. Today, as we have communion together, and as we look at our concept of peace today, I want to say one thing as I light this candle of peace. It's a word from the Lord. Peace is a possibility. It is a possibility. God is laying that out in front of us today. No matter where you are, no matter what is happening in your life, no matter how much turmoil you brought into the sanctuary with you this morning, no matter what it is, you can fill in the blank with whatever's going on. Peace today is a possibility because of God sending His Son, Jesus Christ, into the world. Please, in your, in your bulletin, you have the Advent Litany. Probably be easier just to follow along on the wall. But let us call out to God this morning to restore us. Follow along in the Advent Litany, please, and let's say this prayer together. Into the stillness of a Bethlehem night, God came. Into the silence of verdant pastures, God spoke. The quietude of the past is broken by the crackle of weapons to the peace of the past. And I'm talking about the Garden of Eden. God came so the disenfranchised might find hope. The despairing might find safety. God came so that love might win over war, hatred, and revenge. That we might be restored to the ways of peace by the Prince of Peace. Undeserving, we kneel, we bow at the manger. New life is ours for the asking. A grace beyond comprehension is given to the peace which passes all understanding. May it be so in each of our lives. Will the uh, children please come forward and Mrs. Gleason for wonderful children's message. Just looking for 